okay so last time i was trying uh this question what was it yeah you have a 16 bit number and you wanted to shift its digits but the problem is that you only actually allow 8 bit numbers in uh, 8085 so how to do that uh yeah i was writing a code but it was getting very lengthy and i noticed that instead of writing a function like maybe that would help like if, if i wrote a function but yeah it also didn't help because it was still very lengthy right you still had to like store stuff uh and then use it but then it, it always gets deleted so i, I wanted like I wanted to make it as short as possible and that's why it was not working. I could have just gone with uh, yet another yet another register. So yeah, or like storing something in memory location, some other memory location that is. So I could have done that, uh, but it was, it was getting lengthy. I was not in the right path. So I had to quit and then I looked at uh, the actual solution they gave us. And no, this is not the solution. This is not the solution. Uh, but the solution uses what, like uh, these things. It uses uh, this RAL, uh, RAL thing. So what it does is, is that it rotates left the number in alphabetical through the carry flag. So uh, when I when I did the first video, I told you about this thing, and I told that I don't actually understand what this is. I said that these two look intuitive to me, these look like rotation and this looks something weird and I also wrote some incorrect lines below it. So now time for showing what's actually correct for this thing. So it rotates the uh, number in a kilometer left through the uh, carry flag. So what that means is that instead of having uh, just the accumulator being rotated, you, you stick the carry flag to the accumulator on the left and then you rotate the whole thing. So now it's like nine bits, you rotate those. So you can see that that's the case from the description. So yeah, like how I'm describing is this that is that all of these n plus one digits they they become what previously were n digits right the n digit the previous one that goes to the new n plus one digit and uh the zero digit so the new uh zero so like two power zero digit that thing is the previous carry flag right and the new carry flag is the previous, uh, the, the last digit thing. So it goes to the carry flag. And that's how, uh, that's how it's called through carry flag, right? That's why we call it through carry flag because you stick the carry flag with the accumulator and then rotate the whole thing. So it's going through carry flag and it's not, it's not just that it's rotating and then giving off uh something to the carry flag that's what that's what's happening in rlc or rrc here the carry flag is involved uh, in this because it changes what the accumulator shows in the end so yeah uh that's is uh it's nice so that's all good but i still don't want to uh use oh okay save this uh use that thing so i don't wanna leave what i did right now uh, uh leave what i did right there right so we'll keep on thinking how this function can work without using ral and uh rac sorry rar right so let's read uh read the function once again so uh we move from memory to the accumulator then we rotate it to the left right so the carry flag now contains for uh, the, the leftmost uh, bit okay then we do j and c so if not carry then jump to this thing all right then after jumping to this we do move uh, ma so we rewrite the whole thing 
into the memory and we return it right so instead of just writing the thing into the memory i also now want to uh, rewrite the carry flag into some kind of memory so what we will do for that is that we will uh, make make a kind of list of all the carries of different entities and stuff so yeah so how am i going to do that for that i will uh yeah like make another register pairs so like lxi d so it's a dl no not the dl uh, de register pair and in this uh what address should i feed let's say c500 maybe this is not like it's called it's like 200 okay so we'll just feed whatever is whatever is the carry flag into this thing and how is this going to work so first of all we need to put that carry flag into something okay yeah i think uh you already get rid of these things so now you can i mean like yeah a from a limited memory that's why you can get rid of whatever is in the feed later so what we can do is uh, we can put inside the accumulator whatever uh, flag we had so yeah so we'll just have an if statement all uh, right so jump not carry so if there is carry then do something or if there is not carry then do something else right uh, before that let's just say move immediate in accumulator 00h so this is going to get really really big and very inefficient but just to show you that this was actually a way just not the best way and that's why i left okay it's not that it wasn't working it, just, it wasn't working uh, very easily uh, so that that's why i have to leave like if it was going to work in two three lines then i would not have left uh, at that point but it didn't okay so in a we will first put 0 0 next uh next we will have that uh, condition so jump if not carry uh to to i don't know call call this thing carry i am just going to call that carry uh yeah and what will our carry label actually be it is doing this thing let's say oh wait no it's like not carry so it should be i'm going to call this thing nc maybe yeah so our nc label will think about what that actually is but what what's the thing that we're actually skipping what we are skipping is this uh this will be uh like increment so i c r now increment is i n r register a right and then the next line uh, after doing this is just store a so store a into uh into your d right so that's like i think this is so i just want to store this into some kind of register pair right like whatever address d represents but is this actually correct no i don't think so uh, let's let's look at some data transfer Oops. so i have got something in accumulator and i want to store it in where is it register pair ah so it should be stax right Uh, there we go stax so it should be stax and d is the register pair so it will just store whatever is a a into this register pair so this way this function uh, 
can work right so it just stores something in the memory actually two things first it stores that and this right okay cool uh next what i want to do is once i've said these things i'll just call f so it will store something in there right and then i will increment increment uh h and i will also increment <sighs> increment b and then once again i will call f right so till now what has happened is i've stored uh in 2000 and 2001 the the shifted data and in sorry in c00 and c001 i have showed i've stored the shifted data in 2000 and 2001 i have stored uh, the carries so the carry in 2000 i just want that to be the unit digit of the thing in c001 right this is getting bad but at least it's more systematic than what i did previously it's gonna be a very long code so we'll see how bad it turns out okay and now since i have called this function uh two times right yeah now what i want to do is put this yeah this carry flag into that uh -huh. So let me just say like move immediate a okay that, that's not what I wanna do instead I just want ah okay it's not gonna work I will have to do this thing so your HL thing it's not actually like changing is it yeah oh no we will have to use it anyway uh, that's kind of problem All right you have done this once should I just keep on uh, putting more shit over here and not <laughs> worrying about how long it's gonna get maybe because that way I can get it done so we have essentially stored the carries and stuff and now from here it's pretty simple to actually get those carries into the unit place right so all i need to do is just move this thing into uh registers and then do some operations with it so right now since i've incremented h and d and they were not set once again to anything where are they did I change what D is supposed to be? No, no. Here, uh, nothing's happening with D. So, yeah, cool. So before doing this, I should probably decrement D. Uh, you call F, now you want to decrement D C X, I think. Yeah, D C X, D. Okay. And yeah, like, now you want to compare and stuff but before that we need to put some stuff in the register <sighs> oh, it's gonna get very complicated because we only have this in memory and this function is good but it's kind of like i don't know how to, how to say what it's like but okay just keep on going so you will decrement d and now it's 2000 right that's what d is then this thing is that i'm gonna move this to some registers so we will be moving uh move but i should say load a right load a is better because from register pair we want to load so maybe it's better to just load a Oops using address or was it, was it a register pair oh come on how many times should i even see this Restoration. i want that 
So load instructions. I just want to load a from a register pair. Right, that's LDAX. Now, this loads the content of the address on register pair. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Oh, come on, minimize this too. So LDAX. And the register pair is D. Okay, so now you have it on A. Uh, what do you want to do after this? So now that you have on A uh, that thing, I also want to get something else. So we'll say, uh, yeah, instead of doing that, actually, let's say load AX. Yeah, I mean, D is not that bad. Fine. I, I just want to compare this to 1 or 0 or something like that. Uh, no, no. Uh, it's not going to be working. Mm -hmm. So basically, we need to put this into some other register then. Okay. Uh, it should be move. M O V B. Alright, so now I have moved uh, the carry whatever the carry was into into a B register right after this I will load a x instead I should actually make this a separate function itself yeah because I will be calling this two times so why not make it a separate function right So the function starts from here. So I'll just say G and this is the function. So what it does is like load AX B move B A. Then yes, yeah, like some some value of D, some value of H and stuff. So that's how it's gonna be. Okay, and now I wanna do uh, some logic operations, and it's like gonna be a n a n immediate uh, f, and I just wanna get rid of that. So f e I think uh, f e h yeah, that's how it should be. And immediate right and I just want to put whatever is in the carry thing which is uh, now in B register into this so I will say add B right and now a has what it originally like had okay and now I'm just gonna put this back to the to the memory I think yeah Yes, so LDAXD move into A and, and, and now you just need to put this back in memory. So, how do you do that? Of course, like this MOV memory A. Cool, that's how it should be, right? So now you have this function. So we don't need all of this and of course just return cool and all of this thing will be doing this later so control c delete this i wonder how many does it actually allow i don't know control v Okay, and now we start the actual body of this thing. So we made two functions. We, we will be starting the actual body now. So yeah, we load D with this address and H with that address. We call function once. So yeah, and then we call it actually two times uh, after, I mean like, yeah, increment H and D, then you call it once again. Then you decrement this and then you call G.
okay then what you do is that you increment d and you uh, decrement h and then you call g once again and at this point it should have been the way like yeah so you have switched this successfully i think wow so it has that hold okay cool uh hopefully this will work just what what was the thing we just want uh c00 right so c000 i'm gonna make this one we can make this actually no i'll just make this one two three four right one two and this three four i have no idea if this is going to work or not but we gotta give it a try expected bnc register pair written as brd where huh or white space but h is found oh that's weird so oh yeah so i think this register like okay ldx only works for bc register pair d register pair and it doesn't work for h hey that's weird but you only want to get rid like get that thing into it so how would you do it how would you do it like that but h found uh shouldn't load x like why doesn't work oh you can move this on the memory directly why you want to do it like this so move to a from memory maybe that will work so once again, let's try to compile and it was okay and let's run looks like you have an infinite loop in your code did you forget the halt instructions how can that be infinite loop in this stop this compile it again and we'll run from here why isn't it anything why is it anything actually happening oh okay uh this is weird oh okay i understand what happened i should uh start from where is it start from here right from uh no not from here where is it? like okay we should start from here so i just say this is the start and okay and before doing anything we'll just oh, come on just move to that so jump to start hopefully this will work now okay now let's run this uh let's reset everything uh then that's not how i wanted to reset this uh one two three and four there we go and we will compile and we will run and so two four and six eight that's not how it should have been hmm. okay, that's not how it should have been Okay, now what went wrong? And that's the problem with having this so big because you can't figure out what went wrong if something does go wrong. So let's have to start from the start then. Okay. So we we'll jump to start, then it does nothing, then 
it loads okay and i hope to get 4682 but let's see what goes wrong okay so now d and h uh these are 2000 and c okay cool then call f where is it oh it's from so it will move whatever is in m to a and now what's in a it's 24 as as it moved it okay then it will rotate it so now it becomes 48 how 24 should not become 48 this doesn't work why how can it not work wait a second this doesn't make sense rlc it should just rotate it why is this becoming 48 uh what was the carry flag i don't know oh come on stop reset everything chill no uh, i don't want to reset these so I'll just reset the registers and the flags and I won't reset this. So we'll start once again. Okay. And then it should move whatever is that there. Alright, then it should rotate the carry flag is not set so it's like zero and stuff and yeah it should work why won't it work look it's 48 i don't understand how that is 48 it's supposed to be 24 and it's 48 like why no idea 48 huh could that be two four that's like zero zero one zero 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 no wait zero zero one zero zero uh one zero zero right that's what two four is like okay and forty eight that's like zero one zero zero and oh yeah so it rotates uh it's actually correct it's uh it's actually correct right it's correct i should not expect to get it so maybe if i put like four rotations over here then that would work <laughs> right maybe that would work so actually it does rotate it it's just that i was not understanding how it rotated i thought it would like switch the numbers or something but no instead it rotates like how it should rotate now i understand this right and just for making this a bit more clear why don't we put this as okay just reset this we will put this as zero one and this thing as zero one as well and now if it does rotate correctly both of these should uh, turn out to be the same thing i think right yeah because like both of those ones just got shifted on front so both of these just, just become two and if that happens i think it's correct yes so it it works so yeah it's not that bad it's just like what like 31 lines of code it's not that bad it's not bad at all <laughs> okay but seriously uh i will i will present what they gave as the solution so where did it go so wait a second just wait a second okay so now i will present you 
with what they gave as the solution. So we'll just delete all of this. Okay, so they start with a LHLD. All right, then they move to A from L. Oh yeah, so when we say LHLD, we are actually getting the getting the content of that. Uh, of those addresses right yeah we are getting the content of the addresses c000 and c001 into l and into h so that means l would now have become 02 and h would become 02 okay now they move that to uh, accumulator next what they do is no they just move the l so they they only move c002 accumulator right hey that's actually a nice trick i can uh, keep that in mind right so you like just set two of them at the same time yeah and then what and then they rlc so just like the normal thing rlc so that will uh shift the accumulator and set the carry flag uh yeah and then what they do is move So now they return it, okay, to once again L, they have returned uh, whatever was in the accumulator now. So now it's like shifted, cool, then they move uh, to accumulator H and then they and then they do RAL, so this is different. I, I wish uh, I could describe how this should work, right. Maybe I can just wait a second. Just wait a second. This will take a bit, but it's worth describing what's happening. Okay, so uh oh yeah this this always happens what was i doing uh this was the chrome thing right all right i'm just gonna minimize this should just yeah and i will push this a bit away okay now i can describe what what's happening so Let's see. So uh, you have your L and your H, right? They have a bunch of things, and like, yeah, not 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 that. Cool. First, you take into accumulator your L. Okay. And then you shift this, so I will present the starting with a star and the ending with this thing, right? Cool. And now you put this into the, into here, and then you shift this. Uh, it does have the carry flag. So since you are shifting to the left, uh, I should probably draw it on the left. What happens is that this guy that uh, goes over here, so it's like I should uh, just copy this, copy, paste. So it goes over here and now this D thing shifts and the star, the star comes over here. It's not, a, it's not a D thing, it's just a square. Square and you have a star over here. Right, and then you put this back. So now you just put it back. Right, and similarly, you take uh, you take this thing. So, like, I'm just gonna say circle and triangle like this. Yeah. Uh, 
So you, you then take this edge thing in there and then you shift through carry. So you first do this, then you do this. So this will actually give us uh, carry will now have this circle. This is not here anymore. The triangle has shifted a bit. There's this thing. That's how it looks like now. And now this will go in there. So now this will be uh, this triangle and whatever this was. Right. And now all we need to do is just put this circle. Uh, wait a second. What was the original thing? Originally it was just this. Right? Yeah. So after shifting this whole thing, what we would expect to get is uh, this shifts. You got this circle over here. It's not there anymore. You get this triangle. You get this star over here. So it's, it's just that this is not here. That's all there needs, there needs to be. So uh, now all we need to do is just put this in here. Right. So how can we do that? Uh, yeah, like now how to do that? For that, they wrote the next few lines of code. Okay, let me just go back to this thing. So R-A-L. Where is it once again? I just lost it. It was the question. Right, R-A-L, then they move. comma a okay so h contains h contains this guy uh yeah so like now it just moves the calculator back to this to the to h right and then what then after that they once again just uh move uh l to a and then they do r l well they don't do anything actually huh that's weird is that how it's supposed to happen oh no they they do something so it's like r l c and after that they once again just so it's also like very lengthy but slightly less lengthy than what i wrote i i mean like it had 31 lines. It's quite a lot. Okay, so after RLC they wrote move L comma A. So let's just think what uh, all of this does. So first you will move uh, to accumulator your L. So now it's very clear that we have this thing, right? But what we want is actually this thing, right? And in your carry, you have this. So now if we, that is the lower thing of the hand. Now if we move this to accumulator, right, this will become square star and stuff. So yeah. And after that, they do RLC. Which is kind of weird because, like, why would you do that? So, huh. So what happened to this thing? What, like, aren't you gonna put it anywhere? Yeah, you should not be doing that. Uh, why are they doing RLC once again? Because this carry flag, it, where will it, like, it will just get destroyed, but we want this uh, circle to be there. So, this should not be happening. Okay, let's just go uh, to, with the whole process once again. So you have an H, you have an L. Oh wait, did I actually uh, get the wrong register in there? No, this is L, this is H. That's how it should be, right? Yeah. In L, you had this thing. In H, you had this thing initially. And we want to rotate this 
and make it become uh, this thing. That's our main objective. The first thing that they do is over here they move L to A, then they rotate L and they move it back, right? So after doing that, uh, this becomes this. Okay, then they move A to H and uh, your carry flag becomes star as well, right? Then they move A to H, sorry, they move H to A. So this becomes this. Right, and then they do RAL. RAL, oh, oh, that is a different thing altogether. Now, that's the same thing as we did. So RAL is rotate left, but through carry. And, yeah, well, where's the triangle? Where did that go? Right. So it, it did this thing, it pushed the triangle in front, then you have the star over here. This guy goes over here, this goes back, now you just need to put this in there. Next what they do is they have this L going to A, and this is weird, they have L going to A and then they do RLC. So it's rotate left through carry that's not how it's supposed to be because i guess it's supposed to be rl oh no that's not correct that's just not correct because if you do that it will just get destroyed yeah right then you even even if you move it that it just won't work Huh. How could this even work? I think there's some kind of uh, printing mistake in there, but like whatever. At least I got how it should be. Right? I think I got it. I mean, I just need to replace this thing with this. How would you do that? Uh, you could just, you know, like, get that in there. That's one bit of it. That's not a good idea. Or you could rotate the line. Yeah, so you could say like, R, so you want to rotate to right, R, R, so R, A, R, A. What that would do is, uh, since you have this in the ultimate now, you just have this guy square triangle, and in the carry, you have this circle. So when you do R in R, this goes over here, this goes in there, right? Now it just becomes circle square, yes, that is very nice, and then you can rotate it. So this after R L C, this will just give us. Circle, circle, square, circle. Yeah, that's how it should have been. Instead, they did the opposite thing. So, yeah, that's not supposed to happen. Right? So that's not supposed to happen at all. No, they did it incorrectly. But at least they gave us a good idea of how to do it. Oh, I don't need this anymore. It's not disconnected. Or maybe I should just keep it. Who knows? Maybe this will be worth it. All right. Yeah, 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 I know. All right, cool. Uh, once again, what was I doing? So that is nice. Now I know how it works. Time for next question. Hmm. So the next question is, write a program in assembly language to get the decimal sum of a series of numbers whose length is uh, stored in C00 and the series itself starts from C001. Okay, uh, so no problem. No problem. Right. 
so we can definitely get the hexadecimal uh, series like that and you also got the carry flags and everything uh, hmm. and then you want to convert whatever hexadecimal thing you get so is there carry or not I think there is a carry okay fine there is a carry like how big could it even pick up it's just a series of number how big could it possibly be right not that big I think and yeah like th think about it the, the maximum that that a byte can be is in uh, in numbers a byte can be at max 2 power 17 right one less than that so it can be at max 2 power 17 and uh, a byte is more like I mean in, in decimals it will represent just just two digits that's kind of a problematic thing because if we do that it will yeah that's not a good way to do it mm -hmm. all right all right so we will do this later then it's the same kind of question that and yeah probably it's better to do this later Right. Next, you have write a program in assembly language to search for the first occurrence of data in memory block something to something. Successful, store the address of the memory location in HL register pair. Else, store. We have done this kind of thing already, so it's not worth doing anymore. First occurrence of some data in some memory block. Okay, we know how to do that. Write a program in assembly language to find the largest number from a series of number whose length is stored in C00A. And the series itself begins from C00B. Store the result in memory location C050. Ah, so this is a new thing. So we want to find the largest number, huh? Okay, speed off. Is, is there any halt that I put over here? No. Uh, where is the maximum? Yeah, where is the maximum? So what is it saying? It's saying find the largest number from a series of numbers whose length is stored in c 0 8 so first of all we need to put that the HL pair so LXI C00 A okay I'll just put into some kind of counter so we'll say move Oops. to B from memory Next, uh, we have, and the series itself begins from C00B, so that's just that plus one, we can do that, okay. And what we want is the largest number, right. So we'll start our loop now. Uh, we'll start by incrementing, incrementing uh, our, our H. Yeah, then we'll compare, compare with memory accumulator, more like that. Right, so, so the result in memory location, something, oh, is it better to start from zero or maybe like just take the first guy in and see if this works or not or something like that, huh? Okay, we should first of all set up the memory. So instead of doing this, instead of having this, we will increment it directly. Increment H, then move to accumulator from memory. Okay, and now we'll start the loop. Oh, we also need like. Uh, to decrement B because we already 
check for the first value so like there's gonna be b number of values uh we already checked for the first value there's like b minus one values remaining how many more checks do you wanna do b minus one checks of course so we will have to decrement b okay then we will we will start our loop so the loop is uh first of all we just increment h h then we will compare with a uh, compare with accumulator so uh, what are we comparing comparing with memory okay then if your memory thing is like the thing in your memory is bigger what you want you just want the largest number right right if your memory thing is bigger then what does it do it sets the does it send the sign or okay it sets the carry right it sets carry equal to one so jump on not carry to uh i don't know i'm gonna give that a name later on and what are we skipping actually we are skipping this command where we uh set our accumulator to now be whatever this thing was so move right okay and we will be decrementing b all of the time this i will set to be i don't know some some name skip to and we'll jump to skip to all right cool so this will decrement p and if it becomes zero so jump on non-zero if it becomes zero we can end it otherwise we will jump back to uh, our loop right and then after we are done we will just have the accumulator having the largest number i think Right, it's exactly b minus one of these things, uh, of these loops, right? Yeah. And if there's b minus one of these loops going to run, there will be b minus one number that we will check, and each of them being, yeah. So we're just gonna we're gonna start from the second number. So this will work. This will work. What's the deal? It can't possibly not work, right? Yeah. Okay. Once we are done, what what do we want to do? We want to store this, right? Store the result in memory location C zero five zero. So store a uh, into C zero five zero. Should be like this. C zero five zero H. There we go. Okay, and then you just want to hold. So, uh, this we need to have C zero. Okay, yes, it has those. So say it's two, and then we'll say the first one is two. Then this is five. And that should be correct. So, if this works, then it should give five as the answer. So we'll compile. Uh, such like really oh yeah i didn't put anything earlier load immediate h <sighs> okay now it should probably work okay cool and we will just run this and it's five no wait uh it should be our we should be in c zero five zero right so c zero five zero huh that's not showing anything that's not showing anything how is that supposed to happen 
okay let's let's compile and let's compile and uh, go step to step so actually first now stop put the registers back and now we'll compile it so lxih c00a right oh c00a uh yeah then that's different uh yeah no i i don't want c00a but just set this to be c00 zero and now let's compile and run uh, looks like now it will work cool now it works we didn't set anything on c00a and that's why it was not giving anything very obvious so yeah this works and cool Next, next we have write a programming assembly language to find the product of two numbers stored in memory location C005 and C006. Wait, what? Okay, the product of these. Store the result in C00H and C001. Oh, that is, uh, that's not cool. Product of these two. Yeah, right. How would you do this? How would you do the product of these? Okay, you could either be like just keep make it run for thousands of times by writing a smaller code, or you can uh, instead go by the uh, proper multiplication method. So that would be a different scenario. Oh, this is gonna be so bad because we will be dealing with binaries and yeah like each byte has eight of them so there will be like 16 operations that we'll have to do i think something like that but if we just make it add itself a lot of times then who knows how many operations we would have to do so which of them do we prefer i think i prefer the 16 operation one but then the simpler one is of course where you just sum it up a lot of times just repeated addition that's actually very easy to do let me just show you how we can do that uh, so we start from memory location c005 and c006 but no i'm just gonna start from c00h because who cares from where i start right so just delete all of this in fact no it's not uh yeah i won't be deleting this just one okay and now we'll be setting up a loop uh so our statement first statement of this loop is uh going to be to oh we should also probably set something for uh, having all the carries inside so we'll just set move initiate c zero zero h okay so now we can start our loop we just want to like add add uh this thing so like a double d b because b has the other thing huh wait a second now it's just two times of itself so wait two times of itself how is that supposed to make sense because it has the same thing so uh yeah that is uh, weird just say add m maybe that is how it should be because the memory and accumulator both are pointing to the same thing and so you can just take the memory a thousand times and do it right you will add m you will decrement your count and what's your count it's just b because that's how many times you want to add this guy oh there's also the carry thing right so jump on not carry just want to skip this so skip to 
and what is our skip to label pointing to it is uh, yeah i'll just be decrementing <sighs> decrementing b i think right but before that what are we skipping actually we are skipping this thing uh what what's that uh c right so incrementing c and how many carries you will need right so you can skip to uh decrementing b so we'll add m um, if there's carry then skip to decrementing b otherwise increment c uh yeah and that will keep on going until you eventually have b being zero so for that you need it's not zero just go back to our loop and it will become zero at some point and then we just need to report the thing and they told us to report it where oh so they want it at c00 and c001 but instead of that i will just report it at c1 something like this so let's say and it's i h c zero one zero yeah i'm creating my own addresses but just for just for the sake of doing it and what else you also want you will increment this once no you just want to move a to that so m o v and then you increment it then you say move move uh, to m from b no not b because it's not carrying the carries c is carrying the carries cool right that should probably do it let's try to compile right and let's run look six so it's uh wait how is this two times two two times two should be four it's not two times two this doesn't make sense wait how did this happen you definitely start from c00 right so you move that into b which is now our counter variable just keep on decreasing it of course and in one so like c001 you have what we are going to add multiple times so just move that to a then you add m a lot of times and at this point what is m m is pointing to c001 so it's okay right ah, sorry what was m pointing to like what was hl c0011 that's that's when that happened uh just set up the registers once again i'm gonna start again uh, and move to this it comes to then so c becomes zero cool then loop so we add m it becomes four yeah oh okay 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 so two two one then but wait then it should just become oh no oh no oh i understand what went wrong okay so stop this and okay so i'm actually doing this three times I need to put move uh, to accumulator zero zero. So like initiate accumulator uh, zero zero H, and now it should probably work. So once again, just reset everything. I don't know. Just reset this as well. Right, and 
then we can start Right, just once and yeah, that's how it should have been. So as you can see, it's, it has like four, exactly what I wanted. So it just ran two times, but if if say this was like something extraordinarily bad, like this was for some reason FF, then what would it do? And this was also something bad. So this was say you know, zero, zero 009. What would happen if this was going to happen? So once again, just reset everything, compile, and run fast forward. Ooh, this is bad. So it, it, go, it has like eight carries over here. And the maximum that it can be, we just want to get the maximum now. So we're going to set this to FF as well. And we'll see what we get. Ooh, look at that. That's actually very big. So it's like a bind is just two power eight. So two power eight times two power eight is like two power sixteen, which is uh, pretty big actually. All right, the maximum that can be is two power eighteen. And that would involve this as well. So actually, you just need three of these things. Yes, uh, that's actually how it should be. Three of these things. Not just four, three. That's, that's how, it, how it goes. Yeah, because it's very close to like 100 times 100. That would give us something like one. This Okay, it's not that. It's not like that, right? So then maybe it's just that in two itself, it will probably work. Who knows? Okay. Uh, yeah, fine. Fine, whatever. So that's just a multiplication program, a small one. Okay, next question. Uh, Write a program in assembly language to find how many times data A B appears in America. Done this a lot of times. Not gonna do this once again. Write a write an assembly language program to divide a hexadecimal number stored in memory location by hexadecimal number stored in another memory location. Store the quotient uh, at some other memory location and remainder at some other. Oh, so division, huh? How does division work here? Uh, it's just multiple subtraction maybe, right? Like, you just keep on subtracting until it eventually gives uh, a negative number, right? Yeah. And when it does give a negative number, just add it back once again. And after that, you just put that to, right? You just put whatever value you got as the remainder. Hmm. Sure, that's how it should be. So, no big deal, we can definitely do it. So, say it's like C000, whatever that contains, divided by C001, whatever that contains. So, we will move C0001 uh, H. Uh, no, actually, no. C00, whatever that is, we'll just move that token letter. It's gonna be pretty similar actually. Yeah, you know what? Scrap that. Z. So now it's just multiplication, right? Uh, you just have this thing. Then you also have these carries and stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Look at the multiplication program first. So maybe we can change this a bit. So in H you are already putting something. Then you're putting B and A as some stuff. So uh no, instead of having that as the accumulator, I just wanna have whatever is in is in uh memory. Right. MBI C C2 C2H is still okay because that that's what I will use for the question. 
right? Yeah, and we will uh, loop so not add m instead subtract subtract and not m we'll just put a register we can put b right it will just keep on subtracting b from uh, accumulated and yeah that will be nice i think and yeah that's so not carry or anything okay this is uh not how it's supposed to be because we it won't be worrying about borrowing would we be so it's like when we borrow your sign becomes negative like jump on minus or i should say jump on plus so if this subtraction still gives us a positive result then skip to this thing Right, so just want to increment. So whenever uh, your subtraction gives you a positive result. Oh no, wait, no, 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 no. It should be jump to. That's better. So when you have minus, something sub like this subtracting gives you a what do they call it a negative number then we will skip to uh not decrement b that's not what i want to do right instead i just want to go to uh that thing where you move whatever is in accumulated memory and stuff yeah we will just keep a knob over here i will not have any of this Actually, no, it's still fine. Jump to you, something like that. Uh, no, wait. Something's not correct about this, right? Yeah, just delete this as well because it's getting bad. So, subtract and jump on positive to a uh, loop so keep on subtracting but while you are subtracting also keep on incrementing your counter variable which in this case is c so we'll say increment the register c right so this will work as the question so we'll just keep on subtracting and eventually you will have a negative result or you could just compare maybe no don't compare subtract because that's how it, it should be yes yes very much yes i mean we could we could compare and just skip to something yeah like i'm gonna do that as well okay compare with b and if if what you like if this was less than zero then what would happen your carry would become zero right yeah yeah of course if your carry would uh become positive for some reason like the accumulator thing is smaller than what's in your b register then your carry will like it's positive it's just one basically and that's a bad thing because then it's it's terminated so you just have to jump to uh whatever this thing is you just say end all right so you jump to uh end and that means you didn't know you did no subtraction or anything so you still have whatever value was in your accumulator and that value is basically uh, your remainder right so just store that value in wherever they want us to store where do i want to store this uh c00 c010 of course <laughs> yeah
why is this oh sorry t0 h right so store the remainder value in that and your question which is actually no it's move so load immediate in your hl pair c 010 h and then move to m from a and increment h h and move to m from uh, your counter variable is like c i think was right Right, 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 right. So this will give you our remainder and this will give you our question. Uh, yes, this is the question and this is the remainder. Just check it once again. Load immediate into H this thing, then move whatever you loaded to B and then C001. That's what the accumulator has and like that should be a bigger number cool you have this running loop yeah, hopefully it should work so c000 that is the divisor let's put this as what should i put it as like ff is different it's like 15 right so 15 is 15 and 15 and that i think is divisible by 3 or 5 so we can put it as 0 uh or like 5 5 would just be i mean okay it's just hexadecimal so not a big thing actually just put 5 over here directly right and this should give in a c010 uh whatever is left in the accumulator that's the remainder this should be zero i think yeah it should be zero and in the question it should give what three i think yeah cool so let's compile uh Label M is not defined. What? Where? Let's just move immediate. Oh, sorry. It should be M O V. Okay. okay it's loaded. And F A and zero one how did that happen because wait what no 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 that's that's weird c010 that should have accumulators value so the last point is like accumulator was having what where did we put this in c010 right so uh how does that mean zero one one yes uh your c value is one but your b value is five b value is five oh yeah because this thing and your a value is f a why is that the case how is this how is this working is this something going wrong over here it's not go step by step. <sighs> okay, your accumulator becomes FF, this becomes zero, yes. Subtract B, F A, increment C one, compare with B. Okay, then jump. So uh, did it carry? No, it didn't. That's why 
you keep on going and then jump back to loop on positive wait it is not positive how oh you, you just did this that's why oh, okay uh, when you subtracted this you just compared and and then you just put jump positive that's a, that's a automatic thing oh you do jump at the same time mm -hmm. Okay. Instead of saying this thing, I'll just kind of say jump directly. So we'll just have jump, not positive, negative, anything, right? But still, why did it actually work? Jump positive, right? What is that? Is it positive or not? It is. It's decided by this the sign flag yes and the sign flag was zero so how did this sign flag is not zero why we just did a normal subtraction it should be how does this not make oh compare b uh wait actually just just do it once again right now sign flag is zero all right and when you keep going after subtracting b it becomes one how and why oh you increment c it becomes oh okay i understand what went wrong <laughs> fine there's a lot of stuff going on i should have put it directly behind this but then <sighs> then you compare with b yeah fine so we'll change this to jump and not jump on positive yeah and now it's just this comparison that will decide everything so you can start okay uh, we'll see when this so uh yeah this is really cool 33 Three, three. Yes, that's that's how it should be, and the remainder is zero. Got it. So that's nice. Yeah. So now you can do division. You can do multiplication. You can also do some other stuff that is uh, kind of weird, like rotation and whatever that is. Okay. What else? Uh, yeah that's fine we don't need to do anything more so i'll see you guys in the next video